Great shows travel from London to New York and vice versa all the time, but which ones are actually worth the hype? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you five that I've seen in London and that are currently on Broadway or are coming to Broadway, which I think are definitely worth checking out. So let's dive in. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Christina. And last year I spent 100 hours at the theater seeing all different kinds of shows on the West End. This year I'm actually planning to see 52 shows, which means one show each week. And I'm trying to get to my first thousand subscribers and if you like what you see please make sure to subscribe and give this video a like let's start at the bottom of this must-see list the fifth position is occupied by the mousetrap which is the longest running play in the whole world it has been on West End for 71 72 years something like that something crazy like that and it is really incredible to think that the show has lived through so many generations and that its format is still pretty much the same as it was initially. This is a crime murder mystery type of show written by Agatha Christie and it is a play, it's not a musical. The plot of this play evolves around a murder that happened at this beautiful mansion where quite a few people came to stay at during one really cold night in the English countryside and they're trying to discover who has done it and everyone is a suspect. Definitely if you're into murder mystery type of stories or generally just enjoy that it is a play worth checking out however I will warn you that it's not maybe as engaging as some other things that you can see on Broadway or the West End but again I do think that it has its audience and one really exciting thing is that the secret of who the murderer is has stayed a secret for as long as the play has been on the West End so if you want to be part of the inner circle who know the secret of who the murderer is then this is the play to check out. Swiftly moving to the position number four, it is the musical and the Juliet. This is one of those musicals that when it came out, it got nominated for loads of awards, both on the West End and on Broadway, so Tony Awards, Olivia Awards. This musical is purely based on the songs by Max Martin, who is a world-renowned pop producer and a songwriter who worked with everyone that you can imagine. Baxter Boys, Britney Spears, Katy Perry, co-produced Taylor Swift, like all of the songs that you know and love that are in the remit of pop probably are in some capacity written by Max Martin. And if you like those songs, if you like that pop vibe then this is a great musical to go and see. The storyline is very empowering because it looks at the classic Romeo and Juliet from a completely different perspective and asks the question what would happen if Juliet didn't kill herself and continue to live her life. I think it's definitely worth seeing if you are that type of theatre goer who just enjoys hearing songs that they know but if you're not then one of the top three shows could be for you. The position number three in this list is reserved for Sunset Boulevard, which is a production that has confirmed Broadway transfer, but we still don't have a date when it will premiere. What we know is that Nicole Scherzinger is going to play Norma Desmond on Broadway like she did on the West End. And I went to see this musical with, I would say, semi-high expectations. I didn't really know much about the musical or the storyline, but I was there to see Nicole and she really blew me away. She's an amazing entertainer, amazing dancer, and this role really fits her. I have this whole video where I shared all of my impressions about the show. I personally didn't think that maybe music and the storyline are the strongest, but this production is something completely different because it is directed by Jamie Lloyd, who's known for his minimalistic style. There is not a lot of set changes, costume changes, props, it's very stripped back, but in this particular production there's a lot of camera work because it's all about a silent actor, Norma Desmond, and how she is coping with the transition to spoken movies and as you can imagine she is not coping that well with both aging and that transition. It wasn't one of my favorite musicals that I've heard and seen but I think just the production is very impactful and I think it deserves to be seen once it transfers to Broadway. The second spot on my list is reserved for the play called The Effect by Lucy Preble who is one of the masterminds behind Succession. It is a play that I've seen in in 2023 at the National Theatre starring Papa Seydoux and Taylor Russell and both of them are transferring together with the play to Broadway but this is a very limited run only a few weeks and it starts on the 13th of March at 
at the shed in New York. The story follows these two young people who are admitted to this drug trial and they fall in love but you don't know if it's because of the drugs or because they actually are falling for each other. It is directed by Jamie Lloyd again and similarly to Sunset Boulevard there isn't a lot of set changes or any kind of props throughout the play. The focus is solely on the actors. It is a very contemporary play so if you prefer a place to musicals it is one that I highly recommend you go and see. It talks about such contemporary issues such as mental health and therapy and drugs and love and just like relationships between people and what happens in our mind versus what really happens in reality and how do we make sense out of it. I bet that you can guess which West End Broadway transfer is at the very top of my list and which one I'm the most excited for Broadway audiences to see. Of course, it is Cabaret. The latest revival of a very well-known musical Cabaret is one of those productions that you feel is gonna stay with audiences and is gonna go in history as one of the most amazing and experimental revivals of all the time. On Broadway you're going to be able to see Eddie Redman who is reprising his role of the MC together with Gail Rankin who is Sally Bowles. I'm sure that the story of Cabaret and what the musical is about is something that a lot of people are familiar with if you like Broadway. It's one of those musicals that are so important for any theatre goer that you can't just pause by it. But even if you're not a massive theatre fan, it is a story about Berlin just before the Second World War and just how this community of weird and wonderful people got impacted by everything that was happening around them. Obviously a love story is at the centre of it all. I think what is so special about this production is its very innovative way of transforming the theatre and making it all a bit more of an immersive experience when I went to see it in London twice. There's that feel of going into something slightly unusual and like a different type of theatre experience and also you get to interact with cast members throughout while you're waiting. You're encouraged to come to see the show an hour before it actually starts so you can get a drink, settle into the space and kind of get the vibe for cabaret and everything that you're about to experience just by being in the space. This is one of the most exciting revivals and exciting Broadway transfers and if you manage to get a ticket to go see Cabaret, definitely go because it is something you will not be able to forget. This concludes my list of Western to Broadway transfers that I think you should check out. But there is one more show that I really hope Broadway audiences are going to be able to see in 2024 and that is Stranger Things The First Shadow. If you're a fan of this show then make sure to check out this video where I tell you all about that show without any spoilers.